I would say that there is an energy in the black community here that has not been here before. New at 10 this Juneteenth, many people around Tucson are using the day to support local black owned businesses. It's a space which has grown tremendously over the past few years. In part due to a rising number of organizations built to help promote these businesses. 13 News reporter Sean Mahoney spoke with the creator of Blacks Friday, one of the groups gathering data and joining us live from the Clifton Hotel where Juneteenth event is taking place right now. And Sean, tell us a little bit about the growth project. Yeah, well, Dan, Mary, Blacks Friday is a web page or service uh, compiling all the black owned businesses here in Tucson and the greater Arizona area into one easy to find database. Now we spoke with the owners of Blacks Friday, Ashley LaRussa back in 2020. And since then it has grown exponentially, not only to help grow some of these black owned businesses, but also help to grow collaboration with within the black entrepreneurial space, part of which was celebrated here at the downtown Clifton Hotel as part of a Juneteenth celebration and while they celebrate today many of the owners I spoke to say they want to push forward black entrepreneurs to new heights in the future. But there really is a vibrancy and interest in creating black spaces here that I've not seen before. Longtime native of Tucson, Moniqua Lane says the black owned business space in Tucson historically wasn't as vibrant as it is now. I never, never, never expected to have this be a place that is a locus, a center, a place of interest for a black community. Growing up, she says the community in Tucson was tight knit but small lacking certain representation to promote black entrepreneurs. That's where Ashley LaRusso steps in. Uh, Blacks Friday was created in 2020 out of the necessity of us being able to locate black owned businesses locally. LaRusso's Blacks Friday helps find black owned businesses to help promote them to consumers and help others collaborate within the community. We're seeing businesses collaborate with other legacy brick and mortar businesses and even our community partners. Which Lane says has changed the culture within the black owned business space. There's a very much uh, a let's pitch in and do a thing spirit within that community. Since we last spoke to La Russa at her launch, the space has grown to include nearly 500 black owned businesses, which helps people like Lane focus on her business. We don't have to struggle to bring anyone in the door anymore. We can focus on providing the experience that this audience is expecting because we know they exist. It's a platform La Russa finds especially important for days like Juneteenth with more exposure and celebration on the black community. But we make a very special effort during Juneteenth for our legacy, for black owned business history, because in black owned business enterprising, historically, you know, those things were sort of shunned down and not credited or not up lifted. And despite black owned businesses dropping by 25% statewide since 2020 in Tucson, they have increased by 20% and owners want to push for even more growth in the future. It makes me actually hopeful for the future of the black community here and here specifically, I actually mean the economic future of the black community here. Now we talked about that celebration that was happening for Juneteenth here at the downtown uh, Clifton Hotel. It is wrapping up, but there's still a little bit of time left if you want to stop by. It goes until 11 p.m. Uh, part of the celebrations uh, by Blacks Friday that they want to host for Juneteenth in the future. Reporting from downtown Tucson, Sean Mahoney, 13 News.